I rescued six little goats, little Angora goats, which were stuck on a farm in Western Scotland. They'd been brought in by the farmer and their feet couldn't stand the wet pastures. So they were in a bit of a mess and he couldn't handle them. And I, I said, oh, well, I'll take them. And I took these six little bundles away and billeted them on friends of mine who had bits of land. And before I knew it, six turned into 30 because apparently there were two billy goats in there. And so 30 goats arrived on my doorstep finally after I'd done a lot of television work. And I thought, well, I'd better find somewhere to put them. So I then bought a farm in my home county of North Yorkshire. And, uh, and that's how it all began. You know, socks were the, the, you know, the only thing that I could make from this massive pile of fibre that I'd accumulated. Um, they have to be sheared twice a year. And uh, I, I've, I thought, what on earth am I going to do with it all? And then I thought about socks, and they make the most fabulous socks. And since then, well, I've never looked back, really. I'm very keen on getting everything right. You know, I, I, I can't abide cruelty to animals. My, my goats on my farm live to be very old. Um, at the moment, most of them are losing their teeth, so I have to give them breakfast in the morning. And they're like dogs. They come in, they look for their, their bucket, and they, they do their thing, and then they're really happy, and they, and they trot off. When people put them on their feet, they really, truly can't believe their luck. When I tried them out, I thought, oh, you know, I'll see how, I wear, how they wear. Uh, and I, I've never been out of them, summer, winter, I've got my socks on all the time because they, they keep my feet cool in the summer and warm in winter and they are really quite miraculous. Mm. Mohair has got this reputation for being itchy and scratchy but I think it's because it's taken from the oldest goats of all, you know, and then it's brushed. Uh, but when you knit it tightly and you make, you can make cloth from it, Oh, you can make, as I'm doing, socks from it. It's the softest, most luxurious fibre that you can ever hope for. It's, it's called the diamond fibre. Uh, it's been you know, renowned for centuries uh, in places like Turkey and Tibet for the qualities of its you know, insulation and its wicking. It gets rid of sweat so that if you put them on your feet, you can wear them for at least a week or so. I've tried it and your feet don't smell. <laughs> I've got um, squires of shahs wearing them, I've got farmers wearing them, I've got members of the royal family wearing them, I've got DJs wearing them. I've, I've, got, a, I've got a real good following and I, I've never touched wood had anyone send them back for any, you know, nasty reason. You know, they all love them. A lot of people say things about stuff that they sell and often it doesn't live up to the hype. But I'm, you know, I'm a real believer in these. I, I never thought, I mean, it took me into my 50s before I started to think about my feet. And, and wearing socks that you don't have to think about, feet that are comfortable, makes a huge difference to life. <laughs>